In Luke chapter 15, God showed us the father's heart in the story of the prodigal son. Remember the prodigal son had went away and wasted his wealth, the blessings that his father had given him on himself, on selfish living. And he finally went broke and decided to return to his father. He had a, he had a, um, a whole statement made out or thought up that he was going to tell his father, you know, I'm no longer worthy to be your son and uh, just allow me to be one of your servants or one of your slaves. And Jesus tells a story that the young man, as he was coming home, the father saw him at a distance. And the father ran out to meet him. And he fell on him and he began to hug him and kiss him. And this young man began his spill. He, he said, you know, I'm not worthy to be called your son. But the father interrupted him. He, did not wanna, he didn't want to hear the rest of what he had to say. Instead, he said to his servants that were there, he said, go bring me the robe, the ring, and the sandals for my son and bring the fatted calf and kill it so that we may eat. You know, that prodigal son represents all of humanity who uh, has chosen of their own free will uh, to go against God. And the father is our faithful father who came to meet us. And not only did he come to meet us, but he accepted us where we are and he brought down his son to be the sacrificial calf for us. As that young man stood there um, trying to confess his guilt, instead he saw the bloodshed of that calf. That calf carried the punishment for the son so that the son could step into the fullness uh, of the inheritance that his father had for him. There was never a rebuke. There was never any correction. There was never any punishment. Not to the young man, all of the punishment went to the calf. It's been said that the calf was the only person that wasn't happy when the young man came home. He and the other son, of course. But this story is to show us that God identifies us as his children. And when we turn to him, uh, understanding that we are unworthy and that we're sinners, when we turn to him, then he accepts us not based on what we've done, but because there's been bloodshed for all the sin, for all the failure. His son died so that we could be restored. He has become the, uh, the forgiveness that we need. See, when you really understand the redemption of Jesus Christ that comes apart from anything that you do or say, when you really understand that blood was shed because your, your father loves you so much, then you can begin to understand how he can accept you right where you are. How he can clothe you with his robe of righteousness before you've even had a bath. Before you've had time to clean up. He says, you're mine and he identifies you as his own because the blood of Jesus has paid the price. It has ransomed you. It has redeemed you. It has made you worthy to be a child of God. Enjoy your redemption today. You have a grace-filled day. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.